Hi, I'm Riley Westerholt. I'm Natalie Harrison. I'm Emily Weisling. I'm Amanda Marco. We're from Waverly High School. Ooh. And this is false advertising. Commercials are supposed to make us feel something. <laughs> and we feel disappointed. These are not the results my TV told me I could achieve. This Big Mac does not look like the ones in the hands of Johnny Manziel. Why does this all beef patty taste like sawdust and preservatives? What part of the chicken is the nugget? Is it the eyes? Or, or the, the feet? Maybe both. Probably both. But either way. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. What I'm not loving is, is that Dove told me I could be confident. So I lathered myself in soap. But I still feel like a goose. Just waiting to become a swan. But, but this, this is about a Dove commercial. Trevor at me like all the propaganda on Twitter. Telling me to buy these sexy boyfriend, boyfriend jeans. jeans from the Gap because Kylie Jenner wore them on the cover of Teen Vogue. We're mindlessly singing Nationwide is on your side. Wondering if any of these companies actually are. Aeropostale, the clothing store of your middle school bully has been doing poorly as of late. But, but not, not to fret! Aero CEO told investors that the teenager today wants to fit in. If there's a brand promise to Aeropostale, it's that a teenager can wear our clothes, go to school, and not be teased or made fun of for the way they look. Apparently, Aero is like Kevlar against insults. Bullies will see my white v-neck arrow emblazoned across the chest in an inexplicable beach in the background, and suddenly, in a school of Middle class conservatives, so we are no longer poor, Asian, or gay. Thanks, Arrow! If I had known a $50 t shirt would save me from teenagers armed with, with insults based on my insecurities, you might not be going out of business. But that's not our business. Because we're consumers who buy first and ask questions never. That way, we'll never know that these Fortune 500s are profiting from our desire to be liked, our want to fit in, our fear of being too original. They're marketing a hundred. $180 Ray-Bans to us, but, but they, they don't, don't want us to actually see that our worth can't be defined by dollar signs. You can't put a price on experiences. You can't make our lives easier with name brand clothing. That soap will make your past any cleaner. We, we can't, can't let our happiness depend on what comes in the Happy Meal. What these advertisements don't understand is that they're telling us they can live our lives for us. We, we no, no longer have to strive for anything. Everything, Everything can, can be bought. bought. We can be Thoughts. But the thing is, we're tired of compromising who we are to pay for what they tell us we need. What I need is a body hair removal product that, that doesn't, doesn't seem, seem like, like it's being sold, sold to me by Nash Greer. What I need is a pair of jeans with some real freaking pockets because where else am I going to put the things you're trying to sell me? What I need is some fast food that doesn't make my digestive tract like but that of a three-toed sloth. Freaking gluten. What, what I need is a clothing company that wants to cover my body and not what we need is to be valued instead, instead of bought. To have consumerism for the consumers. To feel more important than the product we're buying. It's time for the goods to be as good as we are.